hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel i'm akanksha uh, anyways welcome back if you new to my channel i'm akanksha in this video you must have read the title already we're talking about my top 5 foundation and top 5 concealer i saw this series going around and i also specifically saw uh, and know that shreya jan does this since like a really long time so i thought i'll do my take on it um so it'll be a series where i'll talk about my top 5 products but for this video i took I chose two categories. I just did not do want to do like one category because I thought it'll be too small and too like you know not useful. Maybe I don't know. It's just in my area, like like long videos. So I chose foundation and concealer for this uh, video. I have a mix of drugstore and high end products on all the list. So let's get started. So the first one and my most favorite one I know if you've seen me talk about this before I know it's repetitive but honestly this is one of the best ones can you please guess like if you guess can you please guess uh, I think you can especially at least if I show this you'll be like ha huh. it is her favorite no all of that if you see my videos you'll know that so the first one is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation 260 sun is my shade in the shades available in india or nika but other than that i picked a shade while i was ua in the us but it's a little more yellow on me i'll put that shade number right here as well but this matches me perfectly it's a tad bit light but that was a tad bit yellow so i kind of mix both this is almost over it's almost no it's already over if you can see and i absolutely love this one i'd be any skin type like dry combo oily anybody can use this foundation it just gives a beautiful natural blended base and i absolutely love this one this is my first favorite it's always always there um with me wherever i'm going and i really really like this one then the next one again this is a og product if you've seen me use this then again don't kill me but og and the best i don't know why it got like under hype i know i mean probably been people have been using this for years and years and years so it's like you know now done but for me it's always be a staple it's the mac studio skin i am an nc 40 this foundation oh my god i cannot travel without uh, this one it's a beautiful again for all skin types across the plat uh, not platform across the skin uh, ranges if that's what it's called uh, it's beautiful you guys especially if you have acne prone skin it's non comedogenic it has no fragrance i love this especially because you can go with as minimal coverage as possible to as full coverage as possible and it does not get cakey it stays on for so so long as well and this is the only thing which bothers me is about like you pay like 2000 plus rupees for this and it still does not come with a pump um i think i'm thinking i'll buy a pump myself because i use this one so much this is my third bottle and i absolutely love this one if you're a beginner and you don't know what foundation to go for you're like you know i don't know if it will suit my skin i don't know what like you know you have questions about this i think this one blindly you can blindly buy it and it will be right and mac has such a wide wide shade range which is also available in india in the stores as well so you can just like go there and like you know try multiple shades and pick the right shade then the next one again this is another high end one which i've been absolutely loving recently so i got this foundation a while ago you guys but i don't know like i've used it once or twice and i was like ha huh, okay and then but then I don't know I, I don't know why I was not so mesmerized by it before but I I think I've got this like 6 months ago but since the last one or two months I've been so obsessed with this so this is like their new reformulated one this one Huda Beauty launched their four filter foundation like way before I think 4 5 years ago but that was with like so much fragrance very comedogenic and it did not suit a lot of people's skin as well but this one they put it again non comedogenic no fragrance and this looks beautiful on this skin this foundation photographs amazing you guys like if you're a bride it's your birthday it's your like you have an event to go to or anything like this foundation you know will cover your ass especially like in terms of a lot of things it's very long lasting it gives beautiful coverage it does not cakey it does not crease again has a wide wide shade range plus the pictures are like ah oh, it photographs so well in even in real life it looks really nice so lately i've been really obsessed with this and i'm in the shade tray liche 320g i think this video is really useful for people who always want my shade references as well because like you know can come back to it come back to this and refer to it 
the next one is my new favorite again since the past one two months which i've been using this is the inside cosmetics hd foundation now this i don't have a perfect shade i mix kind of 30 and like 35 it's still quite dark on me but it looks so beautiful and i really like it i cannot believe this is just 200 rupees because it really does the job of like a high-end foundation it's so beautiful on the skin so lightweight the only con of this is though that it does not have a white shade range but if you can find your shade in this then i think it's a very very budget friendly and very nice uh, foundation option i've been using this uh, a lot so again next one and the final one which is again been a staple for years and years and i absolutely love it and how can you go through foundations without mentioning a maybelline foundation right maybelline superstay foundation and i'm in the shade um 310 where is the shade i know the shade but it's not there yeah it's the 310 sun beige again perfectly uh, matches me 312 is a little more warm so 310 is something i um prefer now i used to be a lot like a fit me fit me fit me fit me always um but like i think it depends up my and on my mood i love both of them so 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 much but at this moment i'm like so much into a little bit of full coverage moment i don't know for some reason so like if i want like that full glam moment then i'll go with this one or else if you want for like an everyday thing then fit me is the best but i've spoken about fit me so 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 many times that i was like I'll talk about Superstay uh, now again wedding birthdays anything it's a beautiful foundation it has a wide chain range but this one is only suitable I feel for like normal combo or oily skin dry skin people I think you would you should prefer to fit me because this can be a little more mattifying um, but other than that this one is beautiful as well and I absolutely really love it so those were my top five foundation L'Oreal Max Studio Skin, Huda Beauty 4 Filter, um, Maybelline Superstay and the Inside Cosmetics HD Foundation. Moving on to concealers now. The first and my most favorite from high end is the Benefit Boeing Cakeless Concealer. It's one of the most, most amazing concealers I've used. This is kind of like a Huda Beauty foundation but like in a concealer form like it basically gives that beautiful coverage without it being cakey it does not crease much it stays on for hours and hours has a beautiful straight uh, shade range and just like i cannot like praise this enough i absolutely love this one it's one of those high-end concealers it's so 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 worth investing and in. i really like this one but i know this is expensive so i think like this another the next fave kind of like a dupe for this one if you follow me on instagram you must have seen which one is his already so i'm talking about the inside cosmetics hd concealer absolute favorite uh concealer bro this does not like crease at all if you've seen the review i've done of these on a youtube if you want to see i'll put it right here you can see the demonstration how it stayed like the you know wear test etc and as well but these two ones are kind of like I just dropped it but these two are beautiful and i really like it the price point is very very different so you pick according to what you can afford but both of them will not disappoint you again any skin type any person can use it but i would definitely recommend you to like hydrate your under eyes really really well before you go in with these ones because they once they dry down they don't crease they're quite matte also in texture but not like drying in a way in a good way but it's always advisable to un hydrate your under eyes especially because it's a very sensitive area and it tends to get dry really uh, quickly and especially if you add concealer powder it can it can get really drying so you know make sure you kind of like you know hydrate hydrate okay so the shade i use in this one is mn20 to highlight so the next one again og one has been staple in my makeup collection since years and years i've gone through tubes of this and i always go back and repurchase it especially for an everyday use it's a beautiful concealer this is this is the la girl pro hd concealer this one is 500 rupees but it does the job so 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 well the shade range again amazing so anybody who does not find shades in other foundation sorry other concealers you can definitely find in this when again suits all skin types stays beautifully it's medium to full um, coverage it does the job really really well i don't think i should talk more about this because i've done it a lot of times a lot of people do as well because it's the best for a reason especially because of the availability factor the shade range factor everything like it touches all the points 
in such a sweet spot like that it it is in the market after so many years of so many concealers coming out it's still a staple in my thing now, my shade in this which is kind of a little lighter than my skin tone so i use it for highlighting is the medium base but i can still get off with you know using this as like a normal concealer to conceal acne scars etc as well the next one oh my god this one since a year i've been so obsessed with this concealer so this is the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer and i am in the shade i don't know what it is i think it's 314 beige uh, again i picked the shade while i was in the us and i have a shade right here so like you know i play along so this one yeah 318 beige is one uh, what i picked in india and 385 amber is what i picked in the um, us this one 314 is kind of really light but this one kind of matches me if you are a full coverage kind of girl or a guy or anybody you will absolutely love this one it just gives that instant coverage without it being cakey it blends on beautifully you set it in place it's not going to crease but the shade range is not that great in india you do have a lot of shade ranges like you know out aside i don't know why they just get few shades to india though it makes me more mad especially when brands do have it in us i'm like why not please bring it to india like india though has like wide range of skin ten, skin tones right so we really need it uh but I don't know what goes on the in the back end, but again, absolutely love it. I really like it. Actually, I love this foundation so much, and this packaging was so similar. I was like, it's infallible. Should I try it? I tried it. I'm like, both these did not disappoint, and I absolutely love it. Then the last one. So for some reason, I kind of put this concealer aside for some time, and um, I realized I did a very big mistake. Uh, like it was just over, and I never repurchased it because I got like so many other things, and. Um, recently I had a campaign for which they sent again i used i'm like why did i ever stop using it i know it's nice but i don't know why i stopped using it it is the maybelline instant age rewind concealer so butterscotch is a shade which matches me perfectly while medium is something i used to under like you know, highlight under uh, the the eye this concealer again shade range not so great for deeper uh, skin tones but if you find your shade absolutely beautiful you can get sheer coverage to medium coverage to full coverage and it just blends like butter on your skin so smooth and so like non cakey but you do definitely have to set this one properly because it tends to crease a little bit but i don't mind it i kind of use a little more powder than normal to just set this in place because it absolutely gives a beautiful finish it's not heavy at all you literally don't feel like you're wearing anything under uh, your eye and it just like looks really nice and you can play along with it as well because like you know things like this l'oreal one you cannot really get like lighter coverage or you know sheer coverage if you put this on it's like shabam full coverage but things like this and the la girl one you can kind of like you know go to sheer medium uh full you know you can kind of play around uh, uh with them so my voice is kind of gone at this point because i've been talking since morning i've been filming since morning this is literally the last video i'm filming my makeup has been on it's 10 40 now and the make my makeup has been on since like two o'clock um it's kind of wearing off right now as well so don't judge my makeup in this um uh, video i've done a lot of things today but i hope this video was useful you guys i really really hope so if you have you know wanted to know my shade vagera vagera so yeah guys that's about it for this video i really hope it is useful let me know what you think about the series if you want to see more such videos then let me know in the comments what categories you want to see i would love to do it for you guys i mean whenever like i suggest something and you try it and you love it and you text me just like that feeling it doesn't like it i don't know how to explain it's like so heartwarming all the products i mentioned will be linked in the description box you can check it out if you're going to purchase and use the link i'll get a little bit of commission or else you can directly buy as well this video shout out goes to jesse samuel thank you jesse for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part and thank you so much for watching meanwhile like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye